גודם קפטן אין איזרל ריזרבס, סיפני רייטר, אבאוט, זה בייבל קוד, and this is the program of watchers with L.A. מרזוליה. The fact that it's been concealed until this moment in history is indisputable because up until the advent of the computer, the most you could do would be to count letters and with your finger in your hand and, you know, wet, wet your finger and turn the page. Um, with the advent of the computer, it suddenly made that which was not seeable, um, seeable. In the Torah Codes, we are dealing with some reality inside the Book of Torah. We cannot pretend that we have a real full grasp of it. Just but using the means at our disposal, we see that it is real. It manifests time and again in various ways. Certainly there are numbers of people who dismiss the Torah Codes by saying that you can find... You know, a, a code in any large body of letters. Take war and peace and run some tables and you'll, you'll get some codes revealed. And, and that may be true. What I've never heard happening in war and peace is a physical manifestation that then reinforces the code. And you have in the case of the Mumbai massacres, the Torah code which appears in a specific verse saying Mumbai, terrorists, massacre, the key words, that verse is exactly where the bullets of the terrorists went through the Torah in Chabad house in Mumbai. I don't think they found a copy of War and Peace with a bullet hole there that, that had the same code uh, revealed in that chapter. Um, and, and I've had the same experience of... of of a Torah code that, that had my name, my rank in the Israeli army, my date of birth, my father's name, and it appeared in a verse uh, in the Torah that was exactly the verse that a group of rabbis chose to be inscribed in a brass plaque under a picture of me. There is something very unusual in the Torah text something that's unexpected to have happened by chance, and it's there by design. 